guys welcome to my channel my name is Binta and if you're new here make sure you hit on the subscribe button and also don't forget to like this video but if you're all subscriber thank you so much for tuning in once again and welcome back to the channel okay so today we're going to be talking about the recent happenings in Uganda and basically my thoughts and opinions about you know this whole issue so first of all I'm gonna say greed selfishness the lack of empathy and corruption is the biggest problems that we have in Africa as soon as we can eradicate these issues Africa will be a better place okay anyways I'm just gonna say that I stand in solidarity with the people of Uganda and I stand in solidarity with the people that wants change for Uganda and I stand in solidarity with Bobby wine okay so he's so young he's so cute and listen we need him on that seat um the sad part about this whole thing is that we have like the officials you know the 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 military and the police who are instead of fighting or collaborating with the people that needs and want change they are trying to protect the president who is Museveni and I think this is very wrong this is the problem we have in Africa whenever a situation arises you know the the president or the leaders always find a way you know um, to have the military to have like a lot of corrupt people on their side and these corrupt people are always the ones who are in power or they have maybe you know some type of power against other people that don't have anything and I saw a couple of videos on um, Facebook and YouTube and one of the most disgusting ones I'm not gonna share that on, on, on here because I was so embarrassed to look at that video was this lady that were uh, the police officers were dragging on the streets you know they were doing all sorts of things to her when her child a young boy was there crying for help for her mother and these are men dragging this woman and not just that this woman was like half naked at some point you know and they were just trying to arrest her because of uh, the issue Bobby wine so I didn't listen to the whole thing because I couldn't even watch it it was just so disgusting and embarrassing to see men African men treating a woman like that and a child so when we talk about human rights forget the countries with dictators because they don't give like they don't care about people they don't care about human rights all they care about is the seat that presidential seat and all they care about is how to win every election all they care about is how to keep the corruption going you know basically it's just people being selfish and I feel like sometimes the people do contribute into making these African leaders the monsters that they have become yes because most of these people they behave like monsters they don't have any human uh, empathy for anyone so that is the sad truth about the things that happen in Africa so I'm gonna play a couple of videos and you guys are gonna be shocked <laughs> these are the things that happens during election in Africa or should I say in most African countries not all of them but most of them like these are the kind of cheatings and uh, unfair votes that happen okay and I remember in Gambia when people were like accusing our former president of something like this when they used to like add more votes in in the president's um, box instead so that he can win or they'll get other people that they would give um they will give uh Gambian IDs so that they can vote you know as if they're voting as a Gambian when they're really not Gambians so on the couple of videos that are coming you'll see like the things that happen in the election in Uganda and not just that but how they have um, arrested Bobby Wine right now he is in house arrest like guys can you guys imagine that house arrest like I don't understand all I can say is that Ugandans this is the time to get up and fight for yourself this is the time to get up and fight for Bobby Wine this is the time to show that you guys are patriotic citizens you need it this guy have fought for you guys Bobby Wine have fought for you guys but guess what you guys need this change more than he does 
okay there's a serious case going on in Uganda and nobody wants to talk about it this is why I said African Union is a it's a it's a joke listen I don't believe in that whatever it is I don't believe in it because they are all bunch of fools and they are all jokes they're just there for their own selfish reasons and they are being controlled by the enemy they don't do anything without the, the without the enemy telling them what to do or what not to do so african union forget it trust me if this was another um issue where the enemy is um very interested in or if this was um a country that we have suddenly just found gold or diamonds in some area guess what everybody will be included in this fight but this is the sad reality of africa in some african countries nobody cares about you nobody give a damn about you so if you don't fight for yourself nobody's gonna fight for you ugandans get up and fight for yourselves and the people that are going to help the citizens are supposed to be the officials but they are nothing but a disgrace to their people this is why I always say African military African police officers African officials are always loyal to the president they're always loyal to their people instead of being loyal to the country these people will sworn will be sworn in front of the whole world to serve the country to protect the country but when it comes to the time to do that their loyalty only lies with the leader who is the president despite all circumstances whether that person is destroying the country or not their loyalty only stays with the president and this is what needs to stop that is how corrupt we are and most of these uh, presidents when they come in power what they do is they make sure they keep the corruption going because they need all these people on their side just in case it is needed people have to change their mindset people have to change themselves people have to be patriotic citizens people have to be loyal to the country you should be able to protect the people of your country if the president is not doing anything that is going to help you people progress as a country then I don't see why you have to protect them to the extent of destroying your own country I don't understand this whole thing and I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions on you know how Africans find themselves in so much trouble or these type of issues all the time because if you guys know this something similar to this did happen in my country the Gambia when the president did not want to leave office and it was it was crazy it was crazy because Gambians don't know what war is they don't know how to fight you know so everybody was fleeing up and down going to Senegal and everywhere so it's not even funny and honestly I feel for you guys I feel for Bobby Wine the guy is locked inside his house he can't go nowhere and nobody can see him as well for just no reason this is real dictatorship I have never seen something like this before so Ugandans I am pleading with you guys to get on the streets and fight for yourself fight so that Bobby Wine can be free fight so that you guys can have a change fight so that you guys can have a better country it has been 30 some years of failure from one person so if you guys don't fight for yourself before you know what happened trust me this guy could even kill Bobby Wayne and whatever he is because if he has the power and the support of the officials to arrest that guy in his own house then he is capable of doing anything he is capable of doing anything and Africans we need to open our eyes we need to wake up and we need to fight for ourselves so yeah guys I'm gonna let you guys watch some of those corrupt videos and of course that will be it for the video thank you guys for watching and I will definitely see you in my next video bye guys
of the people of Uganda, I am challenging you to a free and fair election in 2021. Bobby Wine has got age on his side. So don't underrate the power of the youth. You know? Bobby Wine is young. He's a musician. And there are two things you must fear in life. Youth and music. Songs. And when you listen to the lyrics of his music, his songs and stuff like that. See our leaders become misleaders and see our mentors become tormentors. He is a man who basically turns his music into a, not a music of social control, but in fact a music of social change. May I think the emerging leader now is Bobby White. And remember, me we is saying this, I've been a presidential candidate. I have guts to say that even that leader is not me now. The one who is emerging, who is taking over. So there is a vacancy. Yes, yeah, yes there is a vacancy. People who don't like Bobby Wine have never met Matt, um, uh, what's the name, Reverend Jackson. Jesse Jackson. Do you know what it takes to meet Jesse Jackson? And the sort of people Bobby Wine has been meeting. You've got to applaud him for that. You may not like him, but the fact that he's gotten to this stage, you've got to applaud it. Every young boy should be taught that it is possible to come out of the abyss and get to the place where the world takes notice. That's applaudable. It should be taught in every school in this country, if not in every world, in every school of the world. <laughs> Bobby Wine, a man you get manji, manji. Government a gaulida, a bina be gaulida, put him into a gaulida. O Mukwatako, and Sineca and Cana, Abe, 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 America, and Abe Calacasa, Abe Bungres and Abe Calacasa, Abe South Africa and Abe Calacasa, Nava or Nomus and Abe Calacasa, Agamani or Yoga Jew. Nti Buria, you, Patricia Nuwa and Gavari Bakute, and see your Dane Gugumuk. Which is dangerous. So organizing is very dangerous. supported by the international supported by the international people. Because of Bob Bumba mwagara bukulembeze na mwagara okuchusa power. Tusubira center mu chagulanyi okwesimbawo kuruyi wa for opposition. So Bobi wanyi nokujira kade independent nganange ndi wa independent. Tewali insonga lwachi simwagira. Oboya ga watu yagala Bobi wanyi is stronger than anybody in us. Atusinga fenna abantu bagenda ko ne dozi lyabwe mu mugende kuya mu biro za mu leta byamwe kwanga mai bikasa mu mvuganya. Sija kutambula wa Chija kumenye nyobo tukiliza tipo buwe ni kati ya hali wakumu position. Fina fina tuina kukuli la wamu. Wanga fina tuli nsene nezidi mwonsao. Gabali nzo zisika. Gabali wali. Nore chitu ino kuwelu wana kuwa tipo natisika. Uwe? The amazing with Chagula. Chagula, Chagula nizu wa ikasi ye guwanga. He says it's you up. And takes what? his time. He takes his time. Sure. Nzijuki langa tuwali. E uwe nga tunyo nyaka lulu. Chadono East. Chadono East. Mm -hmm. I was one of the victims there. Wabila wa captured lives mm. in Aji Chimba. Yeah. Beba no, ababiba bululu, beba no. <laughs> you know, but end of the day, ira na akolachi, na wangula. Uluwari mm. nutu wangilecha abula, haba nukwala bika ati mamu kiliza. Wewa. Aine bilo woze bilo unji. Alimu generation ye gamba, jineda, atuweleza haba kuu. Time. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of debate about Bobby, but to me, it's the ideology he represents. Mm. It's the ability to say, we can be anything we want to be. We don't have to be oppressed. If you have a voice, you must use it. Mm. I think 
for years we've been told if you speak up it's the same mentality in schools mm -hmm. when you speak up you will be punished and then comes this young man who already has a following through his art and he says you know what I, I will speak up and I will make you uncomfortable and I'll shake the nation to the point where people wake up every morning and debate politics. I, I see Chagurani growing and he, he could become president of this Uganda. Of Uganda. Honorable Robert Chagulani. Uh, he's of age now politically and he, he has no other way out other than standing for the presidency. June 15th. If there is no other opposition candidate that has taken his papers into to Yingiret to Le Murum to Chogereko, there will be only one candidate remaining, and that will be Chagurani. The rest lie low and keep quiet. You either declare now or by June the 15th, if you're not there, we start always possible to present our brothers the single candidate.